Hi there, and welcome to this midweek memo for the second week of October. This weekend in my sermon, we were seeing how Jesus has authority over evil. And he showed that by casting the evil spirits out of many people whom he met. It was an extraordinary demonstration of his authority. But it raises a question, and perhaps you asked yourself this question. If Jesus has authority over evil, why do I still experience bad things? Well, to respond to that, perhaps I could start with a little bit of an illustration taken from my own life this week. I came back to the house on Monday, and this radiator here was gushing water. Water pouring out underneath uh, the valve. It was going all over the floor. It was a complete nightmare. And uh, pretty soon, I grabbed a container. That filled up pretty quickly. After that, I grabbed another container. That filled up pretty quickly. And before long, I was shuttle running from the radi radiator over to the loo, just trying to empty it out so that the floor didn't get covered in water. And that's a bit what it's like being in our world, isn't it? Sometimes we're confronted with evil, and it's just pouring into our lives. And we just can't get it under control. Now... That's what it was like in Jesus' day. Jesus came and gave us a trailer, a glimpse of what he would do in the future. But it was still in the future. Same thing back with my radiator. First, I had a to be honest, a complete sense of panic. Uh, then after that, I remember that there is such a thing as a plumber. In fact, I know one. He did a great job installing our oven the other day. So I picked up the phone. I called up John. I said, I, I desperately need someone to help me with the radiator. Please, could you come? He said, it's all right, John. I'll be there in two hours. Now, at that moment, everything changed. Everything changed because I knew how this was going to end. Now, there was still water gushing out of the radiator. I was still running back and forth between there and the loo. But I knew John was going to come, and I knew he was going to fix it. And so it is with the Lord Jesus. Number one, we know how this is going to end. Evil is real, and many of us suffer from it deeply. But we know how this will end we know that the Lord Jesus will one day return. And on that day, every knee will bow to his authority. That's the first thing. Secondly, we know that he is able to turn evil to good. The Lord Jesus, think about it, on the cross, had the whole powers of evil arrayed against him. They gave him their worst, and yet he turned it for our salvation. And thirdly, for those moments when we can never imagine how a particular evil experience might be turned for good, we know that Jesus has been there before. We don't have a God who is far away and distant. We have one who has stood in our place, who has experienced what it is to go through the whole range of human and spiritual opposition. And so when we come to him in prayer and cry out to him, we have one who is compassionate and merciful and hears our cry and loves us. A few more things to share with you today. Number one, next Wednesday, Wednesday, October the 14th, is our APCN. That's our annual meeting. It's going to be a great chance to look back on the way that the Lord has worked among us over a long period of time, including the Church Without Walls uh, project. And it's a great opportunity as well as we come what is into what is, frankly, a national emergency, uh, an opportunity to think, how are we going to be shaping our life as a church for this difficult season that we are now continuing in and that is deepening by all accounts. So please do uh, make that a priority to join us for that next Wednesday. Uh, the second thing to say is uh, to encourage you and to remind you that the church is the church building is now open each Sunday and we'd love to see you and more and more people each week coming to join us in person. We've got a few extra spots. There's a sign-up process in place. It's safe, 
Huge amounts of work has gone into making that happen. We'd love to see you. And let me just say, those people who have come, and particularly I'm saying this to those who haven't been back to church, have so appreciated joining us back in church. The third thing I want to say briefly is just to remind you of the harvest uh, initiatives that we've taken, opportunity to give to Embrace Middle East and also to our food bank. Those opportunities are still open now. Do make the most of those. And then finally, uh, to say that uh, we're all greatly looking forward to this Friday, uh, the launch of the Realization album uh, put together by Stu, who's behind the camera, and many others from our church family. And uh, it's going to be a fantastic occasion to celebrate uh, that with the work that they've done. And there's going to be a listening party, as Stu was mentioning already, on Friday evening. So do uh, head over to our YouTube channel for that and join in to listen to it there. And finally, just remember that even when the bad stuff is gushing everywhere and we feel overwhelmed because of the Lord Jesus, we know how this will end and it will end well.